so this uh, this loan officer, uh, I, I'm just going to read it. Is it okay if I just read it? Yeah, please. Okay. So I had a great meeting with a realtor team. By the way, super cool guy, right? Mm -hmm. that, that I'm reading from. So I had a great meeting uh, with a realtor team. Within 24 hours, one of them sent me a lead. Awesome, right? Oh, yeah. I was unable to answer the lead's call because I was driving, right? Good okay. for you, right? Mm -hmm. Safety over, over anything else. Uh, but I called within 60 minutes. Uh, however, I didn't hear back from the lead despite multiple follow-ups. I informed the real estate agent, but haven't heard back from the real estate agent either. I even tried calling the lead two weeks later. Still no, no good. What am I missing? Is there something I can do to start a conversation back with the real estate agent? Ugh. Great question. Great question. We all yeah. feel that in our gut. Yeah. A couple yeah. things here. So a couple things. So, uh, so first of all, kudos to him for meeting with the agents, having the courage. Yes. Meeting with the Picking agent. Picking up the phone, create, setting a meeting, talking to them, and clearly impressing them because they sent him a lead in 24 hours. Taking action. So my Fantastic. man, my yep. man. Yeah. Yep. So now it's about getting even better. Yes. Right. You're better now to get even better. Right. Mm -hmm. So a couple of things that I saw here. So one thing, which is not the primary, a secondary thing is, so I called the lead, didn't hear back from them, tried them again two weeks later. Okay, that's, that. It, it, and you might've been skipping over some of the facts here, right? Just for time. But if you called them, didn't hear back, and then it was two weeks later, well, that's a long time. Yes. Like that's a long time. So uh, I would call, make sure I'm calling in between those, but that's not really the problem. So here's the problem. They hit his voicemail. Yeah, I was going to say drill down to root cause. That's the, end. yeah, there it that's, is. That's the problem, Kristen. That's a problem. So um, there's a stat, which was, man, I've had a handful of things happen in my career that really had been pivotal. I don't know, probably five or six. And this is one of them. I know where we're going with this. Yes, you do. 79% of the loans close with the first loan officer the person talks to. 79%, almost, almost 80, almost eight out of 10 close their loan with the first loan officer they talk to. I remember the first time I heard you say that and I thought, holy smokes. I, it's amazing. Yep. That's a really high number. And I think if I remember right, and this is off of memory, I think it was like 92% close with the first or second, which means that of the, if 79 close on the first, another 11% close on the second, and then the rest are just shoppers. Hell, I don't want to talk to them anyway. They're calling 15 yep. people. I, I, I don't want to, you know, thank you for not wasting my time. Right. So, um, so 79%. So we have got to be that first person and likely that opportunity was made to this person and it wasn't captured. So let me tell you something that happened just yesterday. Okay. So I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a new insurance, right? And um, I called, I called a company. Uh, it was an individual agent's phone number apparently. And it went to voicemail. Okay. Didn't leave a message. Called the I had three numbers. Called the next person. On that one, another voicemail. All right. I didn't leave a message. I called the third one. They answered the phone. And something like 16 minutes later, I was signed, sealed, delivered, paid, auto pay set up. My thank you uh, uh, confirmation numbers uh, sent to me. I'm done. Yeah. Right. So... You've got, to, I closed my insurance with the first person I talked to. And it was the first person that answered their phone, which was the third person on my list, which by the way, where I say, Carl, who did you call? I went to my AI bot and I asked Hermie, who should I call? It, interesting thing. This is a side note. If you call, if you've got the free version of the AI Yes. It won't give you a name. It'll say, well, a couple of things you should look at insurance. Make sure they're this and go look at the reviews. And it gives me tips on how to find somebody. I don't want it tips on how to find somebody. Yes. I, I want to know who. 
right? And so on the paid version, which is twenty dollars a month, it'll t- it, it gave me three names or three. I think it four names, three names. I don't know. It was three or four. So it gave me three or four names, and I and their phone numbers, and I just simply called down the list that it told me to because it had already gone on and looked at their reviews and how long they've been doing it and spit out these three names. And so I just called them one, two, and three. And so, so I think the take home message here is you've got to answer your phone or, you know, I said that wrong. Somebody has to answer your phone. Anytime I call a company and I get a voicemail, I'm just telling you the first thing that goes to my mind. Oh, this isn't a real company. Yeah. Is it help? Kristen, I'll call my barber and they answer the phone. Mm-hmm. Right. Cause he's a real company. Right. Um, so I think if we're a real company, we've got to answer our phone or somebody has to answer our phone. Right. So um, so I came up with three possible solutions okay. for this person. So solution number one, get an answering service. Yeah, we use Posh. At yep. Marketing animals. Posh dot com. So yep. uh, I think they work great. Mm-hmm. Um, right before we hit the record button here, I went and looked to see what they're, and we have nothing to do with Posh other than we're a customer and they charge yep. us for their price like everybody else. Yeah. So I'm not sure which plan we have, but um, dependent upon usage is what mm-hmm. they charge. And uh, the cheapest, I think it was $67 a month and then like $2 per call. Right. And I was like, all right, so I can answer my phone, have somebody answer my phone likely it's less than a minute conversation. They're just going to set an appointment on my calendar, make sure that's good for that person. Uh, and then, you know, they're done. Uh, cost me two bucks to have that happen. And this case would have made the first two people their deal, which would likely pay for this service for many, many, many months. And I'm just, I'm one customer, right? Yeah. Just one. So, um, so somewhere, let's call it hundred bucks a month. You can have somebody answer your phone and they're going to answer it, you know, Kristen's mortgage company. Yeah. This is Bob. How can I help you? Right. And, 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 and set an appointment on your calendar. Cause if the first person would have had somebody answered and they would have said, and I'm going to make up a name here, Lee, uh, Lee's helping another family right now. He can call you back at three forty-five this afternoon. Does that work for you? Yes, I'm good. Right. And then at 345, I'll be expecting him or her to call me. Um, but when I get a voicemail, it's like, I don't know if you're going to call me. I don't like nothing's nothing set. You're not a real company, right? Yeah. At least in my head. Right. So we get an answering service, super cheap. Um, the answering service is not quoting rates, right? They're not taking applications. They're just setting appointments, right? Possible solution number two have my processor and or my assistant answer my phone, right? In my case, our, our assistants at the mortgage company, uh, our assistants, we require them to be licensed. They might not be licensed when they start, but they have to be licensed within the first 90 days. Right. And, and so they can take applications. They can, uh, oh, that's, a, an, uh, that's an underwriting question. Let me send it to the underwriter. That's a, uh, let me look. No, the appraisal is not in yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to have Carl call you as soon as it comes in. Like whatever, they take care of it. Yeah. Right. Because one thing I found is people don't want to talk to us. They just want the answer. Yes. They don't care who they talk to. As long as they talk to somebody who gives them the answer that they're looking for. That's it. By the way, the like the insurance person that answered the phone, that person was not the same name. Like I, I it was like Tucker Insurance. This person's last name wasn't Tucker. They didn't own the company. They they weren't the agent. They were the agents likely like for sure license right they were their licensed help mm-hmm. and uh so when i go buy a car over at uh i don't know miller ford um i'm not doing bi- i'm not mr miller's not out there on the car lot show me the car susan is right and i you know i no i don't want to talk to susan i want to talk to the owner no i want to drive the freaking car right i just how much yeah. is it no, you know that's what's how so much funny about this? I'm just sitting here thinking how much money, effort, energy, marketing do we spend time trying to get in front of people? You literally have somebody who's picking up the phone trying to talk to you. And you're not answering so the phone. We don't treat that like, yeah, we're not going to. All, all, I mean, all that work, 
all that work well, to, to get that agent to meet with you. So we got, but you didn't, he didn't know, right? So I'm not picking no, on the No, no, he's looking for the answer. So yeah, he's so looking for the answer. And I, I appreciate yeah. him. I appreciate him reaching out, right? Yeah. So, um, so number one, get an answering service, posh.com, any number of them, I'm sure are fine, right? So number two, get my assistant or processor. Well, Carl, my, my processor won't answer, won't, won't do the phone. I choose to have a processor that won't help me on the phone. Yep. Not going to work for me. I'm yep. going to make another, I'm either going to get a new processor. If I can't get the new processor, I'm going to get a new working situation, right? I'm going to, somebody's going to help me answer the phone, right? Number three, we can use what I call a pool assistant. It doesn't mean assistant by my pool. It means that let's say me and you, Kristen, and maybe uh, Steve and Frank, we would pull, we're four loan officers and we would pull together and use one person that we hired to answer our phone. Great idea. It, it, great idea. And, and Kristen, we don't even have to work, work at the same mortgage company, right? They could say, mortgage company, this is Bob. How can I help you? Yep. Yeah, I'm looking for Kristen. And then he goes on to take that appointment, set it on the calendar, forward it to the processor, like whatever, help, help them with it, whatever they're looking for, be able to help with. So we can, we can pool our resources and pay for a fourth of an assistant where that person answers the phone. So there are just so many easy ways to make this happen that um, you just have to understand you've got to be a real business. And it's a wonderful time uh, in history to be operating our business that with technology, um, we can give this, you can give the same appearance on your web presence mm -hmm. uh, that Coca-Cola has, that insert in big box lender has. Like, I think for the first time ever, a small company can appear to be a Goliath uh, with our marketing strategies and with social media, podcast. Yeah. Uh, Zoom meetings, like everything that we can put into place for for nickels. Yeah, it makes it so easy. Nickels and dime, it is. It's never been easier, but you got to answer the phone, right? So great, great, great question. And uh, so get an answering service, get your processor assistant. If you can't get that, uh, pull some assistance, like, like yeah. get three or four of your buddies to, to get in together uh, to pull your assistance, but uh, you got to answer your phone. Think we covered that okay? Is there anything else? Oh, I think we did. I'm glad you went. You did that because this person might have gotten distracted by like the follow up, which is is something that needs to be dialed in. But the root cause of that problem was was the phone, was the initial. Well, you, problem. you know, it's interesting. Some of the like when this person asked this question, some people were posting, "Well, I wouldn't want to work with them anyway." Then, and I wouldn't. I saw all the comments. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, and and, so and I'm glad you. I yeah, and, and 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 I understand that. See that. That that might go back to a previous episode you and I just did about confirmation bias, yes. right? Where I'm looking for a reason. Well, if if they if if, if I have to answer my phone for them to do business with me, I, I wouldn't want to do business with that person anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm a great person to do business with, and I did business with the insurance agent that answered the phone, and I'm like the easiest sell ever. I mean, we literally spent 12 minutes on the phone. Uh, I handed the phone to Maria. She gave the credit or not credit card. She set up the banking. That person will likely never have to speak to me again. Or hopefully, that's the idea, right? It's insurance. Hopefully, right. uh, you you would know about that. Oh, God. Um, so hopefully, I don't have to talk to that person again. And I'm gonna send them money, very every possibly for every <laughs> month for the rest of my life. Yep. And unless I have a reason to change, I'll never change. Yeah. Right. And and uh, so for the first two, well, I wouldn't want to do business with them anyway. I'm like the perfect customer. Yes, I got are. a lot of money and I'm very, very, very low maintenance, but I'm busy mm -hmm. and I, and I talk with real businesses yep. and uh, so, yeah, good okay. stuff. Hey, if you're, uh, if you're wanting to know, Hey, how Kristen, Carl, how are you guys doing lead generation to create those inbound calls for me to answer and need to have an, an there's so many of them. I need to have an answering service <laughs> or I need to have an assistant to help me with this. Uh, if you go to freedomclubdemo.com, freedomclubdemo.com, 
uh, it'll uh, it'll take you, it'll ask you a couple of questions. It'll take you to a calendar and we'll book a 45 minute uh, call and we'll talk about some of the different ways that we create massive lead generation at a very, very high closing ratio and using strategies that literally cost like nothing. Like yeah. you, you, you likely have all the tools that you need to make this happen. And there's no buying leads. Uh, there does, there's no ads that need to be run. Like all those things are okay, I guess. But uh, the methods that we're going to show you don't require any of that. And uh, just do yourself a favor. Be sitting in your office or at your home. Don't be driving when you do this call. Uh, you're going to want to take notes. You're going to want to do screenshots. We might show some uh, scripts on the screen or some map out some strategies for you. You're going to want to take a snapshot of some of this stuff. So yeah. freedomclubdemo.com. And if you play your cards right, and if you're real lucky, and maybe you throw one up to the big guy upstairs or the big lady upstairs, maybe Kristen will be that one to help you on that. So that's... Uh, that's what you're known for is doing some of these calls, Kristen. And uh, uh, yeah. I love I love doing them. And and yeah, you're right. Make sure you're in front of your computer with a pen or a notebook or a piece of paper, because what we'll do is we'll map out a 90 day custom plan just for you based on Great where stuff. you're at. Great stuff. Kristen, you're awesome. I appreciate you, my friend. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate All right. it. For the, for the rest of you, uh, we'll talk to you when you call in freedomclubdemo.com and we'll see you on the web. Mm -hmm.